What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to continue, I guess, a talk about memory management or come back to memory management and pointers and talk about memory leaks and dangling pointers. Now, these two things are, are pretty similar or can arise from pretty similar situations, and then, um, but really just the what conditions are swapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an example and then show you how a memo, what by definition, how a memory leak can occur and a dangling pointer can occur. And they are um, basically, they can come about by allocating memory dy dynamically. Remember by using, by, um, using malloc, free, and um, setting your pointer to null or zero in the wrong way. So I'm going to make a pointer. I'm going to call it PTR, short for pointer, and I'm going to use malloc. To make it, I can make it. I'm going to make it size of um, int times uh, five. So it's going to be. It's basically a pointer that points to an array of size five, as I like to think about it. And let me just. Um, I'm going to loop through all these elements and assign it to zero, one, two, three, four, as long as i is less than five. And I'm going to um, increment five, and then. For each for each position in the uh, pointer, I'm going to sign the value of i to it. My bad, this has to be i. And this is another way to look at pointers. Sorry, not a, but p pointer. This is another way to look at um different address. A as I say, increment a pointer instead of instead of pointing putting a PTR plus plus at the end, I can just use array notation with a pointer as well as and it works the same as a, an array. And what it does is it looks at the increments of your pointer. So um, pointer zero is right now where the pointer is pointing to, and then pointer index of one is the second element of the array or index one, and then the third element is index two. And you get the point all the way up to um, the fifth element at index four. And so what this will do is this is just another way of making of me initializing every element to one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four. And now I'm just going to use printf to print things out. And how do I do that? That is pretty easy. All I can do is I can do the same thing again and do print pointer i. And if I run this. It will hopefully work. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 printed out without a new line character, which I'll add, but I won't run it again just because I probably annoy you guys enough. But thank you for watching these videos. And so now I've got this pointer, and I've done, let's say I've done what I need to do with it. I printed out all the elements um, 1 through 5. 0 or 0 through 4 and I want to get rid of it. Well, in my past videos I showed you what you have to do is you have to use the free command. And free takes a pointer as a parameter, so you give it the pointer you want to free. And it does that. And it frees what it does is it frees the target. It frees what the pointer is pointing to. So the pointer is pointing to um di memory of integer size 5, which is going to be 20 bytes, because um, each byte is an integer has four is 4 bytes, and times 5 is 20. And so it's pointing to that slice of memory that's 20 bytes, and what it does is it's going to wipe that off. It's going to get rid of the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 values that I printed out. It's going to get rid of the target. But the pointer, let me just print this out. I can use print percent %p comma and then print out just the pointer which would just be PTR. The pointer is still pointing to the location of where that of where that memory is stored. It's still pointing to one of the locations. And as you can see, um, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 here, which is from the for loop, but then I have um, 3, 1, 6, A10, which is where the array, which is where the beginning of the array is stored because I didn't increment the array. And so my pointer, since I've now freed it, my pointer is still pointing to that memory location, but nothing is located there now. The values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are not located there. In fact, if I tried to print this out, so let me, if I tried to print out a value there, I should get an error or something or an undefined value. 
it probably will still print out. Yes, I get an undefined value because now my computer is using that memory that I've set free up for other purposes and put another value in there. So I get a random value. Maybe it'll be different if I rerun it. And that looks like the same value, but as you can see, it had undefined results. If you do this on your computer, you make it, you'll probably get some different crazy number. And so that, so this, so if I start to use this pointer again, um, or if I dereference it and say, oh, print out, you know, let's assign this pointer value to whatever, um, it won't work because I, I don't have the privilege to, again, start do that. So let me just try that again. Let me try to assign the pointer to a value of five and see if I get an error. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And well, look, I did not get any error, but but this is a bad practice because I should not be allowed to use any of that memory anymore. And in fact, if I did print out print this value out, if I did print out percent D and I dereference the pointer, this would in fact print out five. As well, it did not let me in that case because I freed the memory and I did, but I just hmm, I was practicing with this and it let me and it didn't let me, but that is what should happen, is that if you see here, I have an error that says um, permission is denied right there. And basically, because I freed the memory, um, malloc um, allows me to gain permission to access the memory and brings it back to me. But since I freed it, I no longer have access to that memory anymore. And the computer is doing different things with it. And I can't do that anymore. So that is bad memory management. And so that's why it is good to always set the pointer equal to null or zero. But I prefer null. It makes it a little bit more clear. And so now I'm going to talk about dangling pointers. And what a dangling pointer is, I mean, sorry, I'm going to talk about leaking memory. Um, that was what a dangling pointer was, is that if I forget to set the pointer equal to null after I free it. Now, a memory leak is if I forget to free it and I set my pointer equal to null first and forget to free it. So one, they're both about forgetting one of the steps of setting it to free first and then setting it to null. So a memory leak, I'll just put memory here, is when I, so I have this pointer and the pointer is pointing to this slice of memory and what I do is I set my pointer equal to null. So now I've lost track of where, since my pointer is now equal to null, I've lost track of where I've stored that memory. So that memory, it has not been deallocated. And it's very important to get make it deallocated because let's say in this other long down my program, if my program was bigger, I used malloc uh, five or four hundred times and made a huge array or made a huge structure. It's possible that since I did free up the memory, so my computer knows, oh hey, you can now use this memory, that I could um, cause my computer to implode. Essentially, I could lose all the lose all the memory in my computer because I'm not telling my computer, oh hey, you can't use. Um, this memory because you for I forgot to free it. So make sure you can free it. And because I set it to null, I have lost track of where of where my pointer was going to. I don't have any way to get back to where this pointer was pointing to, and that's causing a memory leak because now that memory that memory is being permanently used, even though throughout my program, even though I don't need it, even though I should free it up to tell my program, oh, hey, you can use this memory again. So it's very good to remember that memory leaks are when you forget to free something, and dangling pointers are when you, when you free something but you forget to change the, um, the pointer value to null or zero to, to, so, you can, so you're no longer pointing at that pointer. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.